I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For April 18th, Monday, our reading is from the 65th chapter of Isaiah, verses 17 through 25. For I'm about to create new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating. For I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem, delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it or the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days or an old person who does not live out a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth, and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered accursed. They will build houses, they shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and, an, and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain and or bear children for calamity. For they shall be offspring blessed by the Lord, and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lamb shall eat straw like the ox, but the serpent it foods shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. Word of the Lord, God's new creation. I'm about to create new heavens and a new earth. Be glad and rejoice forever. Verses 17 and 18. Help, help, help me, cried my young son in desperation. I ran to see what was the matter. It turned out that my child had learned to climb onto the kitchen counter in search of snacks, but then couldn't figure out how to get down safely. He was stranded. Throughout the scripture, from the prophets to the Psalms, from the gospel to the epistles, the writers cling to the promise that those who call upon the name of the Lord will be heard and saved. The cries and calls of God's people come as a result of being lost, feeling lonely or forsaken or enduring suffering. In the prophet Isaiah's, in the prophet Isaiah's vision for a new creation, God says, before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. Verse 24. Before they have a need, before they are metaphorically stranded on the kitchen counter and are afraid, God will answer the call. The promise of God's new creation is peace, joy, and the flourishing of life for all creation. Our prayer. Saving God, you promise to hear us when you, we call and help us when we, need, when we need you, and even before. Thank you. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.